Hey y'all, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at something that uh, I think they're pretty popular out west in uh, states like Arizona, where people don't uh, have much lawn and they just get a few weeds that pop up here and there. But I've decided to try to, to use one uh, here in the eastern U.S. to uh, clear my garden uh, as I get ready for spring and we'll see how it goes. It's one of these uh, fancy uh, flamethrower uh, burners that attaches to a propane tank. So let's check it out. Okay guys, here this thing is. This particular one is an Ideal Gas uh, purchased at Northern Tool. I looked on here and I cannot find a country of manufacture on this packaging anywhere. But judging from the fact that it has English and some kind of Eastern European language like Polish or uh, uh, Serbian or something like that on there. I'm going to guess it's manufactured somewhere in Eastern Europe. So this is what we're dealing with. Um, it's a really only got a couple of components and I'm going to show you the rest of it here in just a second. It comes with a hose that attaches here. Actually have that too tight to hand turn. Good thing. But um, the hose comes separated from the handle, so you just um, attach it right here. This is your trigger. That's a little bit of uh, residual air left in the line coming out. Here is your, um, here's your opener to open up the gas. It's turned off right now. Turn it counterclockwise to open. This is your igniter, so you press this. And this actually auto ignites. Here's the business end where the, uh, the flame comes out. It sounds quite a bit like a jet engine when you've got it running. So uh, I believe I'll, I'll put this in the description. I think I paid like $54 for this. It was not expensive. And then to get another propane tank without a trade in was another like 60 bucks. Um, just because I wanted to have a spare. I had one I could have traded, but I decided I'd, I wanted an extra tank anyway, so I just decided to go ahead and keep it. So uh, here, let's look at the uh, let's look at the other end of this, and then we'll go outside and we'll, uh, we'll burn some weeds with this thing. I'll show you what it does. Okay, so I showed you guys this end of it. Now let's follow it down. Here's the connector for this hose that uh, goes into the handle. Follow it down. There's Archie making his uh, obligatory guest appearance. There, we follow the hose down. This is about 25 feet of hose. I've got to come up with a good way to properly dress and carry this hose around rather than just rolling it up into a big wad over my arm when I take this thing out to use it. So I need to come up with some kind of a system, a little cart that I put this on or something like that. But in the meantime, we're just playing it fast and loose. And then here is your connection on the other end of the hose into the propane tank. Say hi, Archie. Um, here's your connection into the propane tank. This was a standard fitting. I didn't have to put anything extra on here. Bought this propane tank at a convenience store and the hose screwed right in, no problem. One thing that um, I had read and it turned out very much to be true is when you turn the gas on, on this thing, you can't crank it wide open. It doesn't work as well. Um, maybe about a quarter turn just to you hear the gas starting to flow into the hose is generally sufficient. If you overload it with gas, it won't burn as well. All right, let's uh, take this thing out there and burn some weeds. All right, guys, I'm gonna apologize in advance for the wind noise, but it's very windy out here and I'm just recording this on my iPhone. Um, and also now that Tennessee has basically turned into Southeast Asia, um, because of climate change and it uh, rains almost every day for months on end. Um, it's very wet out here. So that's kind of a mixed blessing because it means that it's gonna be kind of difficult to burn this stuff. So that's the downside. The upside is I have no worries at all about this fire starting to spread. It's gonna be very concentrated of uh, just where the tool, the flame from the tool uh, is impacting. So uh, let's fire this thing up, take a look. gas on until I just hear it start to come out. Open the valve about a quarter turn. 
Hit the igniter. stuff burned pretty, pretty easily and uh, literally it rained for an hour and a half last night so this ground uh, I was walking through puddles on the way over here so this is extremely wet and yet you can see it still took it all the way down to the ground so seems pretty good to me okay guys thanks for uh, thanks for watching I gotta say I love this little IntelliGas uh, burner and I got a feeling I'm gonna be using this thing a lot don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and we'll see you next time.